Hi everyone and welcome back to The Four Marketers. Your four marketing friends are here and we're going to discuss landing pages. Landing pages are quite a popular marketing execution. However, there's so many different ways to do it. And we have an interesting spin on this and how to really get the best results. And so I'm gonna throw this to Mike um, and we'll build off Mike. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's, it's an interesting one. When we look at landing pages, we, we take a slightly not counterintuitive, but just a different approach to it. Yeah. Uh, and what, you know, in terms of the web and how the web's evolved, uh, we often draw inspiration from other mediums, other media yep. and, and ways of communication. Yep. And believe it or not, for a really great landing page, where we draw inspiration for an approach, uh, is through infomercials. Infomercials. <laughs> Love it. Okay. So okay. Let's, let's unpack this. Kind of this. Corner now, Mike. Yeah, 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 that's like, like, an like, all right, you're yeah, convinced me. Hang on. How I can that be a good of, format? I, I you sure he's still a little bit more Let him prove himself. Let's see. Judgy eyes on. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. Yeah, so tell okay. us, walk us through. Let's unpack this. So if you think about, you know, a couple of things with infomercials, they're able to sell to us in sort of that, you know, 15 minute to half hour window, um, mm -hmm. absolute rubbish. <laughs> it is, let's at, be honest. At a premium price. Yes. And you think, how did they do this? How did people was get hooked? sucked in yeah. to actually doing it? And I think we've all been through that, or you you know, you see it at late nights, you think, oh, hang on a second. Mm. Moment of weakness. Sure. Yeah, Always steak right. knives, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you get when they throw that in, you're like, yeah. yep, that's it, all right, that'll do it for me. <laughs> yeah, so when you look at that and you actually deconstruct how they're, they're, they're structured, you actually realize there's some very interesting science that goes behind that, and that actually lends itself really nicely to landing pages. Uh, particularly where you've got a landing page that's trying to convince someone that, that might be very cold and not aware of what the what the, what they're there for uh, and how they then need to be nurtured through this this story and this approach to then actually buy on the spot. Mm. So you've got to convince them uh, and do it in a very succinct way. So what, are they doing? Succinct. what are they doing? So here's the interesting. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> so, so <laughs> this is it. And this let, let, let's talk about how and what the different components are. And if you think about it early on, what do they do, right? One, they grab you with a bit of a sensational kind of yeah. piece around, hey, there's this particular problem that we can help you solve, right? So, so a hero style, is it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, from, a, from a writing point of view, think mm. about what you do. And you know, you want to make sure that that very first bit that we're grabbing their attention quick, smart, mm. and good image, key headline that grabs their attention and says, hey, you've got this problem, we can help you solve it. Uh, so, so that straight means away you're connecting thinking, with the audience hang on. straight away. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And you're kind of going, okay, so there's that pain point that you're recognizing and they go, yep, I've got that pain. Okay, all right, interesting. Tell me more. <laughs> uh, and so that's what an infomercial will do often straight away, right at the start. And then what they'll do in terms of that journey is they'll take you through the problem, all right? They'll then mm -hmm. highlight that problem. They'll highlight the pain. And how do they do that? They, they go into this black and white section, right? <laughs> you know, there's the, like, there's, oh, there's, there's, can't there's, solve yeah, it. The, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. There's the wife at the kitchen sink having to do up all these, you know, yeah. clean all these dishes yeah. or dealing with this or dozens of different appliances sitting on there. So and to do this, to do to that, you. you've got to do all these different things. That's right, and it's in black and white. This is that real sort of, this is the old way, this is the painful way. And so really honing in on that and trying to squeeze those pain points. Like, but as a oh, marketer, what yeah. you've done, you've put yourself in their position, haven't you? So yeah. well, you, you, you've flipped it around and you've said, I'm with you now, I'm, I'm in your... Yeah, let's I'm commiserate well, together. Like I've it. got your, you know, we know what your pain point is and we're playing it back to you and, and they're looking at it. Yep. Right. He's doing the hero yeah. nemesis thing, right? Like that's there's the nemesis, the, the client's the hero, and now all of a sudden there's going to be the guide that brings him on a journey. Absolutely. Do they you go a little Star it. Wars there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Looking at hero's journey as such. Um, what you're in, in particular, you know, this is all about solution selling, um, yeah. and what's the, the well the key premise behind that is first diagnose before you prescribe, right? So it's no different to going to the doctor, mm. where you go in there and I've got this problem, and what does the doctor do? The doctor first diagnoses it, so they understand what's going wrong, and really kind of honing in on that, they may even be squeezing those pain points yeah. to make you kind of go, you know what, I really need to solve this. <laughs> um, but the more they also help to diagnose it, the more you have trust in what's gonna come next, right? Because they're like, yeah, they get it. Yes, I have that issue. That's absolutely me. So, all right, now I'm bored into this and I, I, and I have that, there's that nemesis and it's like, yeah, that's my arch rival. <laughs> Gotta deal with this. Uh, and so, what do they then do? They then start to present, hey, it doesn't have to be this way. Yep. There's the solution and it's in front of you, right? 
and you think, oh, and then so they, they highlight and they, they solve all those pains, those problems. We can do, you know, you don't have to worry about all these 10 different appliances to do all these different things. We have this one whiz-bang gadget that's going to do all of that for you in no time, with no mess, no fuss, all of that kind of stuff that you go, oh, oh, that's interesting. But what often they'll then also do is they'll have so this underlying discovery or this, this technology or this underlying magic to it that makes you <laughs> feel hooked source. in like, that, oh, you can't have any other one. No, yeah. no, no, no. It's, this, it's one. this particular, you know, grill that can do all of this stuff. Uh, it's not these other ones because we've got this special technology that we've discovered or uncovered that you go, oh, wow, okay. Every other product's got the same sort of similar thing, but they are talking about it in a way that you think, oh, hang on, this is really interesting. It's They've really thought this through. They've got me mm. this wow factor, this, this element that, you know, I can only get from here. Um, and so they kind of get you hooked there. Uh, and then they'll also do a few precursors where, where they'll talk about, hey, we're going you know, to tell you how you can own this. And, and believe it or not, you know, it's, 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 it, it'll change your world. Uh, and, and listen in because we're going to have a special offer for you later today. Yeah. And then they kind of keep going through that journey. And then they'll have some client testimonials in there, right? So they'll have a few examples of how it's really helped to solve problem. You're showing that, that social proof yep. that, hey, you know, you're not alone. Plenty of other people yeah. have these same problems. And now guess it's what? Fixed. Absolutely. They're Since fixed you this product you service, see. that's mm. it. And so you go, okay, well, oh, interesting. Okay, so I'm not alone here. Uh, I'm not going to be the only one that buys this thing. Um, right, you know, they, it's, it's helped a whole bunch of other people. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't have heard about this before. This is, this is quite interesting. Um, so then they'll kind of go through, you know, that sort of solution thing that you, and that validation of other people that have really had the exact same problem you've got, they've got it solved, and you're thinking, okay, there must be something to this. Um, and then they might dive into a little bit more of the, the details around, you know, the key features and elements of it. Yeah. You know, oh, okay. So they really have thought this through. And then if I'm thinking about, as I go through this buyer journey, right, I've covered off the, the, the problem, I've covered off the solution, and now I've got this consideration phase where I might think about other options and stuff. And we have the underlying technology and the mm -hmm. secret to it, but then there's all these other things that it can do. Well, there's a lot of features. And so as you get down, you know, that buying um, journey, yeah. you now start to think about all the little details about what makes this product slightly better or different to other ones. And I think, oh, yeah, but I've got another grill that could potentially <laughs> do it. Ah, but it doesn't have this. It's not able to heat up in, in a matter of seconds. It's, it's not able to be cleaned in And you're in, like, in I do need that. <laughs> oh, that's so true. <laughs> yeah. I do need that to yeah. a second burn. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. And so then they'll get into this, this, this offer, right? And what they'll do is they'll, they'll price anchor you because they'll look at, oh, there's 10 different appliances. And you think, oh, imagine what it is. If you had to buy all 10 appliances. So really, I'm thing, saving think, a lot of money. Yeah, that's right. That adds up to thousands of dollars. And you go, oh, okay, so I should be spending them. thousands of dollars. But wait, it's not going to cost you a couple of thousand dollars. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. It's not even going to cost you a couple of hundred dollars. I tell you what. Three for today only, <laughs> yeah. three easy installments, yeah. 69.95. <laughs> you too can own this. So but wait, so accessible. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> and so they set this price point right up here. And you're thinking, oh, okay, they price anchored you. And so then when the price actually comes out, it's, the, it's lowering and lowering. You're thinking, well, this is quite affordable. Yeah. You know, compared to that, I'm not comparing it to the other product I could get at 50 bucks down at, you know, at Aldi. I'm thinking, actually, you know what, compared to what it would otherwise cost me, yeah, that's quite reasonable. This seems like an absolute bargain. So then they throw Ooh. in a few more sweeteners along the way because you think, well, okay, that's not enough for me to act now, right? That's just kind of, okay, cool, but you know, I might do a bit of a peruse around, I'll check the web and stuff. No, what am I going to do? I've got to act now. Why? A timer. Because, yeah, if you're one of the yeah. first 23 callers, I'm yeah, gripped. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you've got this already. scarcity element, you know, if you look at uh, Robert Salvini. Uh, he's not even you know, selling a product, product, and I'm like, oh my God, what am I buying? This thing sounds amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they, so they get you that hook, that, that scarcity element that, hey, I've got to act now because I can then get those free set of steak knives, or they'll throw in not one but two. Um, so mm. they, they really hook you into to buying now. And then they make it really easy, right? All you do is just call this toll-free number. Mm. No problem. Toll free. We'll yeah, yeah. Chris Hewitt looked at. Um, I mean, that's that's absolutely fantastic. And but but there's 
whilst that on the surface sounds like, look, it's a bit gimmicky, et cetera, and it's infomercial, there's actually a lot of science that's sitting oh, behind that. I mean, yeah, and definitely. It's, it really comes it back to what we talk about a lot in marketing around storytelling, but storytelling with a purpose and, mm. and really considered storytelling. Very you considered know, to the point we what I you've done, that. you've engaged the customer and you've created, you know, created what they call like the neurocoupling or the synchronization. So that you've actually brought the customer in, made them feel, mm. the audience feels like um, you get them, you understand them, you've played back their angst, their problem or the need that you need to solve for them. Yes. And then you've taken them on a storytelling journey that say, we've got the solution, yeah. but we've got euphoria or beyond that. So we've, we've empathized you, with you, we're mm. both now emotionally connected. So I've started to trust what you're saying mm. and I'm really confident in the business, in the service or the product you're gonna deliver. Um, and my outcome is, it becomes a euphoria outcome yeah. because I'm getting more value yeah. than I expected. Yeah. And that was all those price points. Yeah. And that's, that's storytelling. So this isn't just, you know, it's not just tried and tested and people shouldn't feel like this is a tried and tested um, Infomercial and it's cheap and it's commoditized. No, it's actually it's the flow. It's, it's the, the flow, flow and there's really, yeah, um, there's agree, really strong science. And it's the behind that and you right? tell the yeah. story on a landing page. I think that's fantastic. And I, it's I'm, really and cringeworthy. It's, no, <laughs> no, because there is the old, the old landing pages where there's crap everywhere and the flashing thing, and that's not what Mike's no, saying at all. No. This is the science behind the flow of it. It's yeah, really it's modernizing that now. It's it's actually designing it in a way that it still has a clean space it still looks um professional and high-end and has this like really clean beautiful journey it's just the underlining science behind the landing page takes you right back to yeah. the, the critical the, the critical part really and this is what i think chris does particularly well with your copywriting is it's the journey right yeah. if you look at any one of those like i've gone through this whole process and as you look through that and you think well okay can i skip a step and really, as you go through, you go, no, you can't skip the step. And that's the yeah. key thing. You can't just jump into, you just jumped into the features, right? Yeah. You haven't connected it's with the pain points and the solution. You're not telling the story anymore, so are you? I'm not just connected. selling on Forget features it. now. That's right. Yeah, and so that really people does have to go happen. through that journey yes. from a, a, a purchase. Mm. And we all go through that for different products yeah. every day. The length is The different. journey might, yeah, that's right. The, the length and, and what we go through in terms of how we get that information or go through that journey might be quite different. Um, a landing page has to do that in this one go, because you're paid to, you know, as marketers, we're paying to get you there. And we've got to convince you on that one page right. that this is the right decision to take now. Not, yeah. oh, have a think about it and come back. Yeah. You're not going to get to the landing page, yeah. right? You've got to decide now. Sure. So we've got to convince you right now that, hey, this next step. And, and to Chris's point, the length could vary quite a bit. You know, that's, you were talking about an information, that's a very yeah. long, yeah. long yeah. process. But in actual fact, we can do it in a very short, space of time, if it's a product or a service that people know already, they just need to be convinced that this is the right one. And they may already be problem aware. They yeah. may already be solution aware. Sure. They're just considering, yeah. well, cool, we can skip that whole early part of the story and just jump straight into why our service is better than XYZ or, or mm. any of our competitors and stuff. Um, we wouldn't necessarily mention them. We just focus on the key points that mm. makes us different and get them convinced that I need to take that next step. Yeah. What would you say, Chris, is um, the landing page content no-nos? Oh gosh, that's <laughs> a big, yeah. um, So the way I try and do it is it's similar to, well Mike and I have done a lot of these before um, and the, the yes yeses, <laughs> um, uh, I, I picture it as the upside down triangle. Right, so I think it's like the big, like the the, the hero post at the yeah. top. It's like the you know stop making marketing mistakes or like the and then you create the relevance and then you take them through a journey. The no nos are the ones that where the page is too short, and and it sounds like back to what you were saying before with counterintuitive. But the thing is, is that people often think, oh, a landing page has to be a of like a form, and then people will just do it. The problem is, is that people are very savvy today. People are mm -hmm. very, um, you know, they, they're discerning is the word. Mm -hmm. And so they don't just go, oh, well, okay, I'll just put in my details, especially putting in details. Uh, you have to it's earn. A it's a click off. Yeah. yeah, and you, you have yeah, to yeah. earn it. And mm -hmm. so the way I write landing pages is just like that, where it's like, here's, here's some relatability. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we understand you. Here's the situation that you're facing. Here's the problems. We understand that. 
Right, and then, it, like you said, it goes into that nice flow of the, the, the triangle point is sharpening, mm -hmm. where it's like, here's the next step and here's the next step. The no-nos I would say that all brands make is the assumption of the, skip, the step skip, like Mike was saying. And it's easy to do when you're in your brand. Because yeah. you go, oh no, the people will know that, and they move they move, they skip a few steps yeah. and what happens is well they just try and rush to call to action yeah, yeah, yeah but, and your customer believe me your customer hits that point and it's because it's so abrupt and you've made the jump like you said straight into features they'll go well, whoa I'm not at the feature no. stage yeah. and and then they'll go oh, and it's so easy to just go X because you've right. created the connection I think yeah. that, that early stage is creating the connection and yeah. getting the empathy yeah. for the situation and really showing that you've flipped it around and this whole landing page um, subconsciously is designed for you yeah. to understand what your need is, why you're here, and what you want next yeah. on your and, and journey. And to that and point, that's how I write it, is I say, okay, they've come from this Google AdWord, right? And I say, this is how they're feeling right now. What, what are the milestones? This is how I build it. Like I'll say, right, step one is they want to know that they've landed in the right place, right? Step two is they want to understand that you understand them. Right, yeah, yeah. and then step three, step four, step five, and then like you said, d then then once you r land on your product, then you differentiate it from others, yeah. and then you show social proof, and then so see how it's like it's taking them through step, 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 right, yeah. and so then all of a sudden you have this page that goes tick, 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 and it's all natural. By the end, they're going, yeah. okay, all of my requirements yeah, cool. are yeah. done. Because what's the point of paying for AdWords and paying for a landing page if yeah. you're not gonna have a specific content journey yes. to actually get that yeah. end of sale or to get those details. And I think for um, you know people like yourself and myself, Ariel, it's about how we um, plug into that journey. Because the, uh, the oh, copy and video the is also is, Yeah, the video and, and the design of the landing page to make sure that it all um, is uh, not just aligned with the brand, but also is supporting that journey. Yeah. Absolutely. How you're creating that well, and how you're I'll creating enough an time video. between each section. And when I say time, it's browsing time yes. for people to absorb each message yeah. mm. so that they're not overpowered by it. But well, and some people like to read. Yeah. Some people like, like to you, watch. You've yeah. Just, yeah, you have a nice... Mm. I, I did a landing page, one of my first ones with Mike and for my brand. And I had message, video, message, video. And Mike said, Do you know people are spending nine minutes on your landing page? Nine. It's wow. unprecedented. And it was just because they were just watching. Videos. And, yeah. and so I, what I did was I still used the text, but as a copywriter, I'm not writing spiels. I'm writing like, and this is what it looks like video. And then this is what happens. And video. And I was just doing yeah. that. It was just an experiment at the start. And it was like people were just fascinated. Yeah. By so so mix up oh, your that's media because you're just so captivating. Oh, right. <laughs> no, <exactly. laughs> but it was just it was so shocking because I thought people like I mean, your natural not instinct. Shocking. Video yeah. is it how is. people want to learn these days, and that's how they yeah. want to uh, retain information. And you will lose a lot of people on landing pages if it's just a wall of text. Oh, yeah. They yeah, want the you know you need to go on there, and if they Suffocating. just want to watch video, it should still make sense with almost just the video on there. Yeah. And if they just want to. Um, read the content, it should work as well. Yeah. So it's a really a partnership of the two. Time. And just like you said, the video needs to go on that same journey mm -hmm. where you have that higher level and then your testimonials and then the more in-depth product explainer yeah. that you really take them on that journey with the video as well. Yeah. Um, so it's really just that. Yeah beautiful combination and it should it should support because I'll find that people will naturally not click on a video until you set it up mm. so like if there's just a video there I find that people will go uh, like the people people have a hesitation right and so if you just say see like something just give it two sentences and then the video yeah. I find that's the most yeah. compelling and that's how I built my website for that, <laughs> yeah. because it's like here a statement a bit of text and a video then a video and a bit of text and I find that that kind of format, yeah, yeah. it's mm. because people can skim snap the snapshot. Yeah. They go, oh, that's worth watching. Click. Yeah. Right. And that's that. But like you said, that marrying of content media, that's where you get real impact. It Didn't know we were going to get people. so excited about landing pages, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I know, right? We're going to get overboard. Um, do we want some I last think, insights yeah. on what everyone thinks? Well, I think I, I think it's um, pretty clear that it's very important if you're going to go mm. down the landing page journey that um, you actually 
invest the proper time into yep. your content and the landing page and the design and the video. Yeah, it's um, magic formula. So that if you're mm -hmm. going to put budget behind this and you um, are going to go down that journey, that you're actually setting it up for success. Yeah. And that's so important. I think yeah, it's realizing that there's actually a lot of thought that goes into yeah. that. Yeah. And design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let's yeah. not excuse it. Like, if it looks bad, people go, oh, no. Yeah, no, I'm off. It yeah, needs yeah. to look clean and nice. Well, yeah. the interesting one, um, I think to Chris's point earlier, when you look at it from a funnel uh, approach, the landing page, you know, should you invest a lot of time and energy into the landing page or should you just get a campaign out there and start driving traffic? And at the end of the day, it comes down to that landing page is where the conversion is yeah. happening, right? Yeah, that's what yeah. you want. And so mm -hmm. I'd rather spend more time and, and energy on creating the ideal journey, getting it sharp and, and right that it actually converts, than to go and jump in and just start running a campaign to a poor converting landing page. Because at the end of the day, if you go, oh, well, I can spend half the amount, like depending on the percentages in, in conversion rates, you can spend half, even a quarter of the amount on the actual overall ad campaign by having a better converting landing yeah, page. Yeah, mm. yeah. So everything you do that's there. Okay. That's how I you know, use Oddball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you look at it from that, that, that conversion percentage, like yeah. just taking it from a 5% converting landing page, which is atrocious, um, to you know 10%, 15%, 20%, you think about the numbers there. Yeah, exactly. Like 5%, what's that? Well, that's you know one in 20 converting. Well, that's expensive, right? Because you're paying for 20 Several people to clicks. hit that page. Mm. Whereas if you can get the conversion rates to 20%, uh, which doesn't seem five that big a difference, 20. right? That's 15%. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it, but it's significant. Because, yeah, five. one in five. So I'm yeah. only paying for five people. Yeah. All of a sudden, Amazing. my ad campaign, one from uh, how much I'm 24. spending in total, is a fraction of what I was spending before. But also, I can go to higher price points and be more competitive yeah. in my yeah. ad campaign, all because my landing page converts better. Yeah. And so you often get where we see with um, uh, customers where they are kind of going, I don't know how the competition can spend so much on their on their ads. I can't afford to compete because I just don't, it just cost me too much. Well, yeah, but if you've got Another a better page. converting landing page, guess yep. what? You yeah, can yeah, spend yeah, more than them yeah. uh, and actually be more profitable. So I would encourage landing pages being spending a lot more time on the landing page itself, mm. uh, not just going and creating a quick page yeah, and then spending a whole right. on the ad campaign. Good. Amazing. Yeah. Good, good. Thank you. I think we definitely <laughs> covered yeah. the landing pages. Um, I hope you really got a lot out of that. I mean, I think all of us did, really, yeah. um, sharing knowledge. So thank you so much for joining us for the four, with the four marketers. And please subscribe, and we will see you in our next episode. Oh, can we just say we do not promote infomercials? Yeah, 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 yeah that's done. But news them is inspiration. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>